Hey everyone and good morning, welcome or good day and welcome to another episode of Amazon Ads Raw Daily. This is episode number 30 and for last week I've missed to record one episode on Friday. Apologies for that but I was on vacation and I couldn't really make it and I wasn't able to earn the recording up front in order to deliver it to you but maybe uh, I'm recording another special episode this week or next week to make up for the loss of episodes and more importantly to make up uh, for the now um, uh, uh, for, for the numbers uh, of the podcast because we have now a number 30 on a Monday and usually number 30 should be on a Friday so I have an equal one to five and five to zero number uh, in each week. Before we start about talking about, before we start talking about the updates, there's um, two personal announcements. So the first one is, I'm a serious, I'm a serious guy, and the podcast is about Amazon ads and knowledge and advertising and marketing. And this is not a fun podcast. Uh, per se, but I also try to be funny sometimes, and um, with that, I created a LinkedIn page for my podcast as a company. And at at one point last week or two weeks ago, actually two weeks ago, I was in a very funny mood, and I created a job listing because LinkedIn offered me to create an, uh, a free, basically a free job listing. And so I did create a job listing uh, calling for a chief artificial intelligence officer. That's the title of the role. And within the role description, and you can still find it on LinkedIn, within the role description, it was clear that this is pure irony. And I'm not actually looking for someone. Um, this is all fun. Uh, I believe it was clear. Um, you can read it and give me some feedback and maybe let me know if that's more or less obvious. It's uh, not meant to be serious. However, I already got 10 applications for this job. And now my personal question to me is, are these people just looking at the title and not even looking at the company because, or, so just looking at the title, and not looking at the job description because then it would be very obvious to them it's fun and it's not real or and not even looking at the company because also the company is just something started with one person working on it and it's clearly a podcast so well um i don't know let's talk about the updates today uh, i've got two updates from last week and this time it's coming from the Amazon Selling Partner API. So not the Ads API, but the Selling Partner API, which is also very important to all you sellers because that's where you're getting your business information and where you uh, push your business information like uh, um, your, your bulk uploads for product information and so on and so forth. The first update is about list price attribute required for selected product types. So... In one month, on June 30, Amazon will require the list price attribute across a thousand product types. And this is very important for you all out there. Go check out the, um, the announcement. I'll link it in the description of the podcast today and check out which product types are affected. There is a link in here showing... Um, uh, where you can download an Excel file showing you which product types are affected and which require the list price attribute if you're not using the list price attribute so far. Uh, so far, um, the reason for this requirement is the change will improve customer experience by providing accurate and complete product attribution information. Selling partners must enter the list price or the manufacturer's suggested retail price for product types that involve list price. This seems to be very important for lots of sellers therefore have a look into this the next one is i believe less important but it's also um an interesting update 
API request validation for 400 errors with HTML response. So this is effective since today, June 5th. Amazon will reject requests that are not consistent with HTTP RFC 7230, uh, which seems to be a protocol number um, for HTML or whatever. Um, <clears throat> We have enforced this restriction to a portion of requests already since April 25th um, and requests which are not consistent with this HTTP RFC will return an error 400 status code and an HTML response. So that means if you're sending requests and API calls to the selling partner API without this HTTP RFC code, you'll get eventually an error code back also together with an HTML message, which for example, could read like HTTP blah, 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 400 bad request server, server date, and then the server date content type, uh, text HTML, transfer encoding, chunk connection close, something like that. So you'll get a little uh, HTML text response alongside the 400 error code. Um, if you're using if you're not using this format um, and if, uh, yeah, that would re result into an error. All right, that's all the updates I have for today. Have a wonderful start into your week. Hear you tomorrow. Bye-bye.